We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you too, cool schmuck. It's hard to say exactly when things like Riot Girl started happening. I know that originally Molly and I were in Eugene, Oregon going to school and we had been reading other people's fanzines and we knew that Bikini Kill had just started and there was Calamity Jane and some other girl bands and uh, we were kind of felt inspired by what they were doing and started networking with people in Olympia and would travel to Olympia on weekends and we really just wanted to kind of start creating our own scene. We weren't really satisfied with what we were being handed as far as bands, the scene, whatever. Um, it, sometimes it's just about entertainment and <laughs> we were bored. <laughs> so we decided to turn Girl Germs into a fanzine. We started just interviewing other bands such as Calamity Jane, uh, Jawbox, The Fastbacks, eventually Seven Year Bitch. It was the simplest like someone going like, you should do a fanzine or you should start a band. At that point, it was like, oh, okay, that's what we should do. And that was what we did. <laughs> At one point, Calvin Johnson, I know, heard us talk a lot about how we were in this band, Bratmobile, so he asked us to play a show. We kind of freaked out. We were like, what? We can't play a show. What are you talking about? He's like, well, you're a band, aren't you? And so it was kind of a challenge. All of a sudden, we were like, uh, yeah, I guess we are a band. Okay. So at that point, we are like, okay, we need to get instruments or we need to figure out a way to get to Olympia because he offered us our first show was to be on Valentine's Day of 1991 in Olympia, Washington. I was terrified. I got on stage and was like, wait a minute, what are we doing? Can I really do this? You're too cozy and you're all boy class hat. Even consider having Kool-Aid at my house. 